Uh, so quick update, guys. I'm gonna read the fucking North Dakota from California. It's gonna be nice. Enjoy the vlog. Uh, so we're basically ready to go. It's the trailer. Uh, I'm moving. This day is moving day. I'm moving to North Dakota slash Minnesota. Um, gonna be an interesting drive. It's gonna be on 27 hours. Probably gonna get there. Try to whole falls tonight. Sleep over. And then do the rest of the drive uh, tomorrow. So yeah, it's gonna be interesting. Uh, stay tuned. Uh, in this vlog, I'm gonna put like uh, gas prices between here and North Dakota. Uh, you know, scenery. I'm gonna have two cameras. My iPhone camera is gonna be one of them. And the second one's gonna be the camera I bought from shooting pictures and shit like in the mountains. It's gonna be legit. Uh, so hope you like it. So we're currently in Nevada. 14 minutes away from Rio. Did do our first stop of the fucking trip. Lovely. Uh, we're far away from Fargo. You can read it, it says about, you know, 19 hours and 58 minutes, but that's not the case. We're gonna stay in Wells, Nevada. Update when we get gas. It's gonna be nice and lovely. So, uh, we're in Battle Mountain, fucking Nevada. Gas is 392, bro. That's fucking cheap for 76. So, we're about two hours away from where we're gonna stay. We're gonna stay in Wells, Nevada. We're gonna stay the night there. Uh, and then the rest of the trip should be about 17 hours. And then we're gonna do one trade shop. We should get there by Saturday night, Sunday morning early. Uh, depending on fucking traffic, we're hauling a big ass fucking trailer as you can see. Uh, but that's the plan. I'm tired as fuck. It's like 11 o'clock here, and we still got two hours to get to our hotel. So this is all the shit that we packed. This is the important stuff, pictures, all that stuff. So we have our uh, main house stuff here. Uh, all my fucking rusty chairs and shit. Uh, this needs to go back in. It can't. Fuck. It just gets loose all the damn time. Probably just get that stuff in there and squeeze it. But that's it. Uh, to my knowledge, I'm lightsabers, but this is holding up pretty well. More chairs. It's uh, bendy pretty good, uh, but it should hold. We did lose a football. That's the only thing we lost. Know that we lost so far is a football, which is nice. So stay tuned. Uh, so we're at the hotel that we're staying at. It's uh, about 1 30 Saturday morning. We're gonna stay here for about a couple hours. It's a good night rest. Right back to the road. We're in Wells, Nevada, which is close to the Idaho border. It's, dude, my ass hurts. So uh, we're currently in Jackpot, Nevada, which is like 10 minutes away from Idaho. Uh, this is the Four Jacks. Uh, Basically, this town had 855 people three years ago. It's a small town, it's maybe like two miles long and shit. Like, that's the very end. Very fun is like there. We did a little gambling. We won't make it to our new house, our new home until, I don't know, 5, 7 a.m. tomorrow, Sunday morning. It's gonna be nice. It's currently Saturday around two o'clock. Uh, doing pretty, pretty good. How do you guys feel that you guys won zero to buddy at gambling? I won a good time. <laughs> Normal. Yeah, that's what happens when you gamble in fucking Nevada. Uh, currently in Montana, there's a river behind me. Uh, we still have about, uh, about, let's say, 11 hours left before we get to Fargo. Uh, but this is a really nice river, as you can see in the back. Nice little rock sculpture and shit. Um, we're going to stop in about an hour at Bo Bozeman. Get more videos there with the family and shit. Uh, but I'm going to take some videos of this for the vlog. It's uh, currently 1 a.m. We're in Billingsley, Montana. We have about eight and a half hours left in our trip, but we're staying the night in, in Montana because we're fucking tired. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be an interesting trip. We should get to Fargo at about like, 9 p.m. tomorrow. Check out up here at 12 and shit. So I'm fucking exhausted. I'm gonna eat some uh, midnight snacks, hop in the shower, go to bed. I'm fucking exhausted. We should do like maybe two more stops on the way. But uh, yeah.
Uh, we're currently taking out all the trash bags that we put on the trailer because it was raining overnight here at uh, Billy Boy. Got about eight and a half hours left. I'm fucking tired. Uh, with the way we're driving, cruising, about 10 hours. See you soon. We're currently in Miles City. About to get some McDonald's. She's coming. And, uh, oh, sure, the price is the shit McDonald's in fucking Montana. Too be nice. Gas here is fucking four bucks, though. The prices here are actually pretty fucking cheap compared to, uh, you know, California. They get the sweet deal from the city to get them there. Five years of free lease. They go there, they work five years. Hopefully, one last stop <laughs> in Bismarck. I myself a Yoho. Uh, and then this is the gas prices. For fucking 10 gallons, it's fucking $41. Cal 379 a gallon. California would never. One more stop, two and a half hours away until we're fucking new home. Let's do it. It is currently midnight and we just got into Fargo about half an hour, 45 minutes ago. 60 hours. I'm officially here at the house that I'm staying at, my brother's house. Uh, 60 hours, two stops between here, or from Sales A to here was Wells and Billings billions to you know sleep at and stuff got everything out imported from the truck and stuff but uh the biggest question here is why did i move to north dakota and one of the biggest things is uh well my family's here well my brother and my sister-in-law are here uh they've been living here for the last 10 years and second i can't afford to live in Jose. It, it, i can't afford to live there comfortably like i can live here comfortably here like I can get a good job and live, get a house and stuff. You can't do that in San Jose. Now the thing about it is, it's the bait just posted that San Jose was ranked second in the country to raise a family in. Yeah, we put it right here. And San Jose Fools posted that people who are spending no are not like are being spiteful. It's like when I lived in San Jose all my life. Like I can't afford to live there as a single person. Imagine living, like I get like having a family, but imagine everything comes into place. You have your kid and like, and all that stuff. Your wife or boyfriend, boyfriend, girlfriend, you know, your family. And it, it, the other thing is, San Jose is beautiful. As you see the San Fools coming, it is beautiful. People are nice. But their biggest thing is the homeless situation there. Working downtown at Miniboss, legit. Every new weekend, or every weekend I work, new guy cracked out a mess or whatever drug they're doing. And it's just disappointing to see it. Imagine going downtown to have a nice out evening with your you know, your family, and then boom. You know, you run into a homeless guy shitty on the street. I don't think that's good. I don't think you should bring your child to see people shit on the street or getting high off a of meth on the street or any other, any other drug. That's a reason that I moved as well. Now, will I be back? Who knows? I love this house. I can afford to live here, like I said. But who knows? Um, tomorrow, uh, I'm going to be logging this stuff tomorrow. Probably get a storage shed for the trailer. Get some stuff at Target that I need. But other than that, yeah.